So this is more of a theoretical question. Assuming that the Earth is flat, that there's no curvature and there's no such thing as outer space, we want to inquire basically if there are other, any other factors, even if we assume that the Earth is flat, that there is no curvature, are there any other scientific reasons why, for example, um, from the surface of say, um, of say Key West in Florida, why is there any reason from basically the southernmost points, the southernmost points of the United States around the Florida region, is there any other reason why uh, Cuba would not be visible given whatsoever, you know, meteor, meteorolo meteorological conditions, other factors besides the alleged curvature? Because in terms of the natural parameters, it's not always so simple. So just because if we go out, out there and we try to observe Cuba for three to seven days, and if we don't observe Cuba, it doesn't mean, um, it could just mean our own initial um, assumptions are false. So it doesn't really, it would, it not, it doesn't really mean that the earth is curved if we can't see Cuba. So we, we want to make sure that we're, that, that before you, before one goes about experimenting, they have to get the parameters correct. So if the initial parameters are false, you're going to get false positives and false negatives. So we can't just falsely assume um, that our design is correct. So assuming correctly that the Earth is flat, it still doesn't mean... So even based on a correct general assumption, it could we could still make the error of assuming that even on a flat Earth, whatever, you know, based on the distances that Cuba should automatically be visible, um, assuming, correctly assuming that the Earth is flat. There could be other reasons that Cuba could not be visible. So we want to make sure um, on, on the core assumption that the Earth is flat, there is no curvature, there is no outer space. Are there, what are the other potential reasons why Cuba might not be visible? Why Cuba would not, would or might not be visible from Florida so we're so so we just want to make sure that we're controlling for false negatives and false pos positives. So basically, if your general assumptions are correct, you could be making all these sub assumptions that just uh, throw things out of whack. For example, um, you know, if someone tries to observe Cuba, oh, we can't see Cuba. Oh, that means the Earth is curved. It doesn't it doesn't really mean the Earth is curved, right? So 